UN Ambassador Susan Rice met today with some of the same Republican senators who have criticized the comments she made after the Benghazi attacks. Following the closed-door session today, the senators still seem unconvinced she's qualified to be the next Secretary of State should the president nominate her. We are significantly troubled by many of the answers that we got and some that we didn't get. Bottom line, I'm more disturbed now than I was before. The three GOP senators also met with Michael Morell, the acting head of the CIA, who also could be up for confirmation to keep that job. He, too, received indirect criticism. If anybody had been looking at the threats coming out of Benghazi, Libya, it was jump out at you. This was a al-Qaeda storm in the making. We're joined now by the Fix's Chris Saliza uh, to try and figure out what this means because, <laughs> Chris, it seemed like John McCain and maybe Lindsey Graham were starting starting to soften their position, especially on yeah. Susan Rice, but then today it moves totally in the other it's direction. It's so interesting, Brooke. I think you're exactly right. Uh, you know, you, you would think she's coming in, she's sort of subjecting herself to questioning from them, and all the kind of visuals, political visuals, look like they would come out and they would say, we're not thrilled there's still lots of questions to be asked about Benghazi and, and, and Ambassador Rice's role. That said, we believe she was acting in good faith. S something that kind of put a bow of some sort on this and said, we're ready to, to move on here. Wasn't that? No, it was the, not that. It was not the Christmas season uh, after after that meeting. You had uh, Lindsey Graham, John McCain, and Kelly Ayotte, all three of the, the senators, saying, we have more concerns today than we had yesterday. Is this the end of her possibility as the next Secretary of State, or is there a path yeah, for so her? I don't think it is, though I, I don't know if I'm in the majority or the minority opinion. Here's why I would say it's not. Repeatedly after in this press conference, Ayotte, McCain, and Graham were asked, would you block her confirmation? Would you not vote for it? They dodged, as Secretary of State, they dodged that question repeatedly. If they wanted to say that, they had the opportunity. I always think in politics, until somebody comes out and says, I am doing this thing, I cannot take back saying I will block her yeah. nomination. Until they do that, politics is a game of negotiation and compromise. Republicans have been asking questions about this attack, which happened all the way back on September 11th right? for a while. Yes. I don't understand why Obama's picking this fight. It's a good question. Um, I think in his mind, two things are true. One, he is personally close to Susan Rice and thinks she would do a wonderful job as Secretary of State. Now, what's fascinating about this fight is we don't even have it yet. Right. This is like the pre-fight uh, handicapping. But So I think that's one. Second, I think he believes, and he said this at his press conference after, after his re-election, he believes that what Susan Rice was doing on those talk shows, which she's come under so much criticism for, was she's being blamed for doing her job. That's not fair. So it, the question again is, does he call the bluff of McCain, Graham, and Ayotte? He hasn't yet. Yes, we expect. We know that she's the person he would like to have as Secretary of State, but we, he hasn't put her forward yet. Let's see if he does that. But as, as you were saying just before we came on, sure. it could be a sign of weakness if he doesn't. Right. And with each passing day, that case seems stronger. It, it would be tough to sell that he just decided he didn't want her because everything that we know from the reporting done suggests that's who they want, that's who he personally wants. And the biggest knock against her is coming from Republicans. So if he walked away from it, he could sell it as something else. But I think the narrative that would be built is he's walking away because he's afraid of this fight. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you.